Why, hello, YouTube Marlin community. That's right. It's the old fat man from Alabama coming to you from this place right here, Don's Garage. Well, this is a bench update. Not a bench update of sorts. It's a bench update. This old fat boy has managed to get a little bit of bench time. Uh, we've had some things in life. Uh, had a family member pass away. My dad's been is the executor will. So I've been helping him get all the stuff gathered up, catalog cleaned up. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff to post up for sale. So that's occupied a lot of time. Uh, ain't felt too good either. You know, mood swings, whatnot, you know, just like I said, it's life. Uh, but I have been sneaking in a little bench time here or there whenever I could, whether it's 30 minutes, an hour, or four hours. Uh, past few days, I've gotten quite a bit of bench time in, actually. And have been... At the bench since about 2.30 today. And it's now a little after 4. I did a quick video, shop car shout out. Now we're going to do the bench update video. So, if you like what you see, this is the first time watching, consider subscribing my channel, ringing the notification bell, look through the archives, maybe there's something there to pique your interest and keep you going. Also, if you're a content creator, and you've got a shop card, like to do a shop card swap, email me at that address right there. Put shop card swap in the subject line, and we'll swap shop cards. So, let's get that thing out the way. Let's get the stand out the way. Set that to the left. And I know everybody's looking. You got two rags on the table. What's this all about? Well, this has been turned into an extremely big project um I, i'm close to a bit off more than i could chew at one time but we're working through it we're going ahead and get this uncovered you know y'all have already seen a video on or seen some pictures and video on my little ramp truck project well it's grown into something else well still ramp truck but it's expanded there's the truck the tow pig is really, really close to being ready for paint. And I decided to build a tandem axle tag along trailer. We call the this is the tow pig. That's piglet. But also, I've jumped on building two cars, one for the ramp, one for the trailer. Um the Nova is pretty much straight out of the box. I've lowered the suspension a little bit. Um, we're going to use the kit hood scoop. These are two Saturday night eighth of mile bracket cars. We're not the no pro mods and none of the street outlaw stuff. Um, the chassis is done. Um, as far as I haven't put the drivetrain in. Hey, it's our fellow. Um, but the suspension's all done. I did it just good old fashioned flat black. We ain't getting carried away. These are shelf queens. Um, these are not the wheels. They're actually going to go on the car. Um, I'm bouncing back and forth between a set of drag stars and a set of center lines. Um, the Chevelle will be getting center lines with 99% chance. Uh, this is just a simple, it'll be a small block. Single four barrel, you know, like a seven fit seven oh car. Let's stick the wheel back on. Um, the body's off. Let's well, see, there the other one fell off. Told you the chassis wasn't done. Um, the body work's all done, it's in primer. Uh, the interior's in primer. The dash is already painted. The color is going to be the dash in the cage is going to be body color. Most likely the package tray, top of the door panels, door sides will be body color, um, aluminum door panels, and a black floorboard. You know, just the basics. Um, I modified the roll, a roll cage from one of the Pro Street 67 Chevelles to fit in this car. It is done. It's, well, done. It's painted. I got to clear coat it. But other than that, it's ready to go in the car. It's a simple six point with two with a door bar on each side. 
like I said, nothing over the top. We'll move her out the way. Now let's get to the get the piglet here. This is a modified version of the trailer that comes in the cow drag team. Um, the one that comes with the little 64 Galaxy and the 64 Falcon Alter wheelbase car. Uh, if you've got that trailer or built that trailer, you know it's uh, twin run uh, twin runners. I've made this a solid floor tread plate. Same material I used on the um, ramp bed. Uh, lowered the fenders to fit down on the tire, as you can see. Parts box wheels and tires added to it. I've added a tool tray up front, which is actually I'm going to scratch build a winch to go here with a flare head just on the just right there on the deck. I had to modify a few things on it. Because I lowered the trailer a little bit and lowered the um, fenders. Well, when it went to line up with the tow pig, the hitch was way too low. If you've ever built, there's a boss here and here that the tongue slides into. I cut them off and moved the, uh, moved the trailer tongue up. Now it lines up with no problem as you've seen where it was put together. Uh, the trailer's tread plated ramps. I've cleaned them up. We'll paint them. Also, I've added uh, provisions for where's my stick? There it is. There'll be a running light here, here, and here. Here. <laughs> um, tread plate floor. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's a simple build on the trailer. But it should be very effective in a, you know, when it's all finally finished. Um, let's move on to build number three of this extensive project. The Chevelle. Uh, the Chevelle is the AMT 67 Chevelle Pro Street Kit. You know, it comes with a set of slicks and a set of treaded tires. I've put the slicks on it. Uh, I got some center lines out of my parts box. I've lowered rear suspension a little bit, the front suspension a little bit. Uh, dug through the parts box, found another hood scoop like the Nova came with. Um, I modified the hood, got rid of the SS lumps. The hood scoop, I had to blend it in to get it all to look halfway decent. That's the underside of the hood is pretty much done. Um, we'll be moving to primer and paint soon on this one. The cage is assembled in primer. Uh, I haven't really picked the body color, so I'm not 100% on that just yet. What I've done here, no, this is not going to be a two-door sedan car. It's not a post car. But I've put plastic, a piece of sheet plastic inside and recut the window openings. It'll have flush-mounted door glass and quarter glass. If you've built this kit or got it, you look real close. The drip rail that goes along here is almost non-existent. And I fool and fool. I say, you know what? We're building a bracket car. We're putting Lexan windows in it. Um, this side over here, I've not got completely cut out. That's how I do it. I put a whole piece, whole, one whole piece in for them to fit inside. It's glued in with liquid cement. And then... I know Glenn's done a video on how he cuts open a hood. Use the same, use the same idea. I just drill multiple holes all the way around, and then I take and cut each section. This way, I'm not take, trying to take a big cut all at one time. I'll do that and shape it just like I did the other side. I've already started shaping the quarter glass opening here. Um, chassis simple, right out of the box, other than adjusting the ride height. Um, smoothed up the firewall. We don't need a heater or nothing like that in it. There's a hole left for the master cylinder. I'm undecided whether I'm going to leave the inner fenders in it or not. Uh, if I do, they'll get painted body color along with the firewall, and I'll tape them off and shoot the frame black. Uh, that, or I'm going to cut them out and do down. I'm gonna, well, I still may put down bars in here. Uh, without the inner fenders, Putting down bars in will be a lot easier. 
again just a saturday night bracket car nothing over the top and let's go let's get to the final piece to this obscene project that's the ramp truck well as you can see you know i put it in primer and then had to do a little work on it i've added and i might have got carried away here with the marker lights but it's got one here, 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 and here. For a total of, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, nine running lights down the side. But it is December, it's Christmas time, we're going to light it up like a Christmas tree. Um, I scribed in access panels in the uh, dry, on the deck. You know, your spare tire would be like here and some tools and whatnot. And this is more storage. The winch will be in here with the cable coming out of the slot. I'm going to build, make a flare head to go here. I'll do that. I scribed in. These doors don't open. I just scribed them. Um, I did pick the wrong piece of round rod to make the hinges. They're a little big. We're going to stick with them. Um, it now has tail lights, the hitch for the trailer. Then over here, we have more doors. Uh, you get your two front up here. These two, I did not put them on the driver's side. I did put them on the passenger side. That's the ramp storage. They do not open. Like I said, this is a uh, contest-wise would be a curbside model. The chassis, other than the motor, trans, and exhaust, and dry shaft, chassis done and painted. I mean, she's ready to go. The body is ready for a wet sand. Everything's pretty much ready to wet sand and start shooting color. It will be a factory two-tone on the cab. Uh, I'm either thinking blue and white or black and white. Anyway, this panel through here will be white. The top will be white. The rest of the truck will be the, whichever two colors I pick. Um, the last thing on this is... A set of scratch built uh, tread plate running boards to go on it. Uh, I've got both sides ready to go. They've just got to be, just got to paint them. Anyway, well, that's it for now. Uh, like I said, I've been squeezing in bench time whenever possible. And, you know, there's the results of it. Uh, bit off in the two more projects, I really wouldn't. And planning on doing just this this soon you know how it goes them squirrel moments so well thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this video remember live love and laugh let's watch out for each other let's have each other's backs and remember no matter what anybody says build the model for you yeah the one watching this video build the model satisfy yourself it's your money, your model, your time. Take care of yourself on that one. Also, I wish everybody, you know, I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas. Get time with your friends and family, family especially. And I hope you all get just tons and tons of more plastic that's going to collect dust before you get around to building it. So, y'all take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.